يا ايها النبي قل لازواجك وبناتك ونساء المؤمنين ونساء المؤمنين يدنين عليهن من جلابي بهن ذلك ادنى ان يعرفن فلا يوذين وكان الله غفورا رحيما when i decided to wear the niqab my parents i think were very scared and they this was not something my mom doesn't cover this way and egyptian culturally in, in egypt you know this was a little bit too much for them so initially they were like no you're not leaving the house like this um and so i had to basically defend my decision to my parents and really explain to them why i wanted to do this and i really wanted their support and i think they were really uh, just scared for me they were scared for my safety and knowing that this was you know so soon after 9/11 and that we had heard stories of negative backlash against muslims um they were just worried about when i went out to public but you know after a while they would all their friends would say why are you wearing that and i would defend myself and explain to them why and told them that this is something that i religiously feel brings me closer to god and is pleasing to god and i think they respected me after that so now my parents are my biggest fans and biggest supporters and and um it's we've come a long way in the journey i am very proud to be married to her i didn't tell her she had to wear it i still do not tell her she has to wear it If she wanted to take it off, though I'd be disappointed. That's her choice, and I believe, you know, that's absolutely a part of Islam is to cover everything except for there's a specific saying of Prophet, cover everything except for this and for this. Okay. And so that's fine, and, you know. But I'm very happy that she chooses to dress like this to imitate actually the wives of the Prophet Muhammad, who's a blessing to be upon them, and some of the, you know, the, the pious women that were at the time of the Prophet and since then. I wanted my my sexuality and my body to only be in the context of my marriage and to be in the association of a, in the commitment of my husband. And so because of those experiences and this is actually something very common with with women who become Muslim is they love the modesty and the covering in Islam because it, for them it's dignified it's that it's a self value. I really believe that every person uh, the decisions that they make uh, in their faith is between them and God and God alone will judge them. My responsibility as a parent is to teach my child the means of self-analysis, um the ability to uh think and to question and to be, to figure out how to be convinced of something and then to give her the morals that I need. I see young girls in, in the west and the american society even in the middle east and in, in the muslim countries now as well this um, obsession with their body and their body image is so great now that we're no longer developing our daughters mental and intellectual abilities and we're actually cutting down their self confidence when we put all their values in their bodies not only that i want my daughter to grow up being a strong independent intelligent woman who is proud of who she is 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 not afraid to tell people who she is and to show who she is and to know why she believes what she believes and i also don't want her to have to be a victim of uh, abuse or sexual objectification and that's why i i teach my daughter modesty now do i make her wear a hijab no she does it because she's imitating mom and i've been very clear with her that until she hits puberty it's not a requirement on her but she likes to do it and she wears the pink and the purple and she thinks it's beautiful and it's her way of, of dressing up um but she i want her to know that when she makes a choice that she has that right to choose and she should stand by what she believes and not to compromise because of what other people think of her k l So I actually homeschool. I teach my daughter at school uh, at home. Um and I also want her to be able to read the Quran in Arabic so that she can go and learn her religion herself without a translation or without somebody else telling her what the religion is about. And so because of this I actually teach her one day in Arabic and one day in English and I encourage her and help her to memorize verses from the Quran. وما هو بالهزل انهم يكيدون كيدا واكيد كيدا. Um so I'm trying as much as possible to give her the things that I didn't have 
which is a supportive Muslim environment that, so that she doesn't have to question her identity, she doesn't have to feel like she's the weird one or the stranger or the outcast, and give her that confidence so when she does go out into the world, she knows who she is and she can represent herself in a very confident way. I first met Hiba. She was uh, a volunteer teacher at the Islamic Center. She and her sister Sarah were bringing groups of women together after the Friday uh, Juma and studying uh, Quran, uh, understanding uh, the passages, uh, understanding the teachings of the religion, um, as well as helping uh, women and, and even teenagers and young girls adjust to uh, some of the tensions and uh, just some of the challenges that we as uh, Muslim Americans encounter.